Guys, uh, today I'm actually in Boulder in one of the mountains here up in nature. I don't know if you can actually see behind me. You can see kind of the view that you can get from the middle of this mountain. And uh, I guess the camera doesn't really do it much justice because of the lighting. But you can actually see a little bit of just how beautiful it really is. And actually I came up on this hike as a solo just by myself, you know. Um, I dropped my sister off at her job in Boulder and decided to hang out in Boulder for a few hours until she needs to be picked up. And I learned some things while on this hike. And you know, like the importance of just being grounded and regrounding ourselves back to the earth. Not only that, but with ourselves because through the course of daily life, you know, at least me specifically, I happen to get caught up in the daily moments, the daily struggles. Uh, oh, I don't want to wake up this morning or, you know, like, I don't want to go to work or what am I going to do after work? You know, little small nuances that we experience, especially I experience. And what happens is we slowly lose touch with the beauty of the world around us. And it really is such a beautiful place. And we don't have to go far to see it. We just got to maybe go outside of the city, the border of the city. Or there's even beauty in the city, you know. There's a lot of concrete jungles that we can enjoy. But the point is that we got to be grounded. And we got to learn to reground ourselves with nature and with ourselves. And how that affects me is that I came up this mountain looked at the view, wonderful view that you can actually see behind me. I looked at it and I just thought to myself, wow, there's an entire city just going on about their daily lives down there. Here I am up above in nature, enjoying it, enjoying the scenery, just watching it all happen. And there are days, most of my life, most of the minutes and seconds and hours of my life that I'm in that life that's going on in the city, not realizing that there's stuff out there you know, outside the city, and there's other viewpoints, other ways of looking at what I'm actually experiencing. And I don't know if that really made any sense, I'm just talking this off the top of my head, as I do in most of my, all my videos. And, you know, like, back to the topic of grounding, it's it's really freeing, and it, it's, a, it's a good reminder where... I don't want to be in my head all the time, you know, that it, I have to remember that being in my head is a recipe for just being kind of, you know, on the negative emotional side of things. Uh, the best way for me to get out of myself is to, of course, help other people. That always helps, just to start focusing on other, other people. And, of course, also, is to get out in nature. Moments like this where I can appreciate the true nature and true beauty of the world that we live in. And it's nice... I guess it's autumn, but it feels winter to me because I'm a Texan. But it's a nice autumn day. Sun's out. Air is crisp, clean. You could breathe it. And, of course, I have a little trouble breathing because I am from 1,000, 5,000 feet below where we are now. But, yeah. And um, I encourage all my friends that are watching this that may come across this in the future or that are watching this uh, the day after I record it, I, I ask my friends to let me know or to take videos of yourself in a place where you feel really grounded. Upload it to YouTube and maybe tag me in it somehow. I don't know if there's a feature to do that. Send me a link. It'd be awesome. I want to see all the different ways that everybody finds their, their peace, their serenity, the way that they ground themselves, they get themselves back into the swing of things with nature on your side. So looking forward to it. Adios, guys.